life I've been waiting for that moment when it all starts to make sense. You got a truck that's out of gas in the city, you gotta find it, and we got something that a band needs tonight, okay? So get him back and you know what to do. Another night, another show. I do what they tell me. I go where they send me. But sometimes the moment that changes everything is the one you never see coming. You sat down every time you made a record or a movie or any kind of creative endeavor, and you tried to sort of say, here are the 10 things that we're gonna hear back from people about how they perceive this work. I guarantee you that the, the most common perceptions of how people would never make that list because it, people always come from, they see it from some other place that you would never go when you're creating it. So the lesson I learned early is you don't even start that, um, uh, that way of thinking because you'll always lose. some kind of monster was that if there's, uh, I think the reason so many people, you know, the film resonated with so many people, I think especially in the, in, in, the, in the film world, maybe more so than the music world, was because there was, there was a story there. There was, this was not just, you know, a bunch of guys, you know, making a record and trying to figure it out. There was a story. It was a story about relationships. I mean, it was set against the background of a rock and roll band. But, you know, so we thought if we would, put a story into our movie rather than just have it be about a rock and roll band, then that there would be a, a, a different layer to it. I mean, everything for this film was created for the film. I mean, there was no, um, that tour was so short that it was really a rehearsal. I mean, we just did eight shows in Mexico City just to warm up. Uh, most concert films are filmed on tour, on a, on a, on a sort of on a functioning tour. So, and, 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 and they're usually not filmed until you're, you know, a year into the tour and all the bugs are worked out and everything, you know, sort of functions, you know. Um, <laughs> uh, we didn't have the luxury of this when we were down in Mexico. We were still sort of piecing it all together. By the time we started shooting up in Western Canada the following week, we were still piecing it all together. And uh, but the luxury of treating it, you know, the, the the approach was a film shoot rather. Than, it's not a sort of like these concerts. It was a film shoot. We 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 looked at the audience as extras, and we would start and stop and let's play that again and let's do that and move the cameras over here and stuff. So it it, it was a little bit more. Um, uh, of, of that kind of an approach. The States took a year and a half to build uh, just for the movie, and so far with the response we're getting, um, I would say the, the chances of a tour uh, for this stage are, are increasing on a daily basis. <laughs> with the more response and more requests we get for it. But I would say that it's not, um, it's not imminent. It's not being booked as we're speaking. And it's not, um, and it's probably like, if you take the UK for instance, um, I don't know if it's the type of thing that would fit into the NEC or to the SECC in Glasgow or whatever. I mean, I'm sure it'll fit into the O2, but I don't know if it, it may fit into the new venue in Manchester or, or something. But the point is that it, may be more selective. It may be a week at the O2 rather than seven days across England, you know what I mean, in terms of just the, the practicalities of it. As you get older and you get wiser and more experienced, you become better at what you're doing and when you become better at what you're doing, you have more options to what you're doing. It's probably the same thing in your gig. And so 
when you're 22 years old and not quite aware of all the options, you have a tendency to think less about what you're doing. And so you just sort of, your instinct. It's, we're, we're, what we do, and I don't want this to sound wrong, we're very good at that particular thing we do. And so, you know, we can kind of, well, we can do it this way, or we could do it this way, or we could play it fast, or we could play it slow, or we could, you know, pick it, or we could, there's so many, you know, where 20 years ago, we would just kind of do it. Now we think of all the different ways we can do it. So sometimes it, it becomes harder to, uh, to be as instinctive as, as, as you were when you were 19 or 23 or whatever. I'm sure you, you can, most creative people can relate to that. And so that's, that's a good and a bad thing. I would rather be where I am today with all the experience that I have, you know, but of course there are times where you kind of miss the, the just, you know, you're not even thinking about it, you just do it.